what is up guys it is germ donor back again with another tutorial for you guys and today i'm going to be discussing the best ar versus the worst ars for close range scenarios and long range scenarios i'm also going to be discussing the best loadout that i use when it comes to only using ars and that is the m416 and the m762 now the reason that i use this loadout is the m416 is very versatile it is good for long range uh, the attachments I recommend using on it are the vertical foregrip and a suppressor if you want to be stealthy or a compensator if you want more accuracy. Um, the reason I recommend using a vertical foregrip is because you'll be finding that you use this gun a lot more with single fire and that you'll be using the barrel M762 in close range combat. Now on the barrel M762 I recommend using the half grip because that's going to provide the best accuracy for um, rapid fire and I recommend using the compensator and the red dot as well that way you are prepared for close range scenarios I also recommend always keeping a four times on your M416 that way you're always ready for long range scenarios um, the reason I don't use the AK is because it has a little bit more recoil than the barrel M762 and you can actually put a uh, grip on the barrel M762 but it doesn't do as much damage as the AK-47. Here is a uh, clip where I show them firing side by side, and you can see that the AK-47 has a little bit more recoil. Now when it comes down to the SCAR, it actually is better close range than the M416, but long range so you'll find that the SCAR actually has a lot more recoil when you're doing quick single fire um, but close range it shoots a lot quicker and it's a lot more accurate close range I would say. It also does a lot more damage as well. Now when it comes down to the QBZ and the AUG, uh, the QBZ is good but I would always recommend using the SCAR over the QBZ just because the SCAR is a lot more accurate than the QBZ. However the QBZ does fire a lot faster but the bullets don't do as much damage. But the AUG, if you ever can get your hands on the AUG, I always recommend using the AUG. It, uh, you, it is pretty damn good for medium and some long range scenarios. However, in close range you will almost always overpower your enemy. So when it comes down to using the barrel versus the Groza, I still recommend using the barrel because the Groza you can not put a uh, compensator or a suppressor on I'm pretty sure um, which kind of sucks you can't even put an attachment on it the Groza actually does fire a lot quicker and does a lot more damage but it is inc has a incredible amount of recoil versus the barrel M762 the barrel M762 is honestly the, the, the best gun to use with 762 ammunition in my eyes and this is the gun that I will always stick to when it comes to using a gun for close range combat. Now when it comes down to guns like the M16, I, I honestly don't recommend using it. It is actually great for single fire and for burst fire at long range. Just because you can, you can hit enemies real good and it's pretty damn accurate. But you'll find that a lot other a lot of other guns are really good at long and you know close range shots. And especially because you can't switch to full auto, I don't find this gun really useful at all. The guys, the last and final AR, which most of you don't probably realize is an AR, is the S12K. Uh, it is classified as a shotgun and an AR. And if you ever need it for close range scenarios or rushing up into houses, I recommend using it. Guys, thank you yet again for checking out today's video on the top versus worst ARs. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe for more content, I upload daily. 